everyone. Welcome to Adult DIY. My name is Christine and today we are going to be making a peep keychain. Um, so you should have some felt, um, a template, um, some thread, uh, a keychain holder, some ribbon, some fiber fill, um, a needle, and a marker. So first off we're going to um, choose, you choose the color of felt that you want to use to make your your bunny peep keychain and we're going to trace two bunny shapes onto the felt so you can use uh, your sharpie I have chosen pink so you're just going to take the um, peep template and put it on the felt and trace a nice bunny shape Alright, so I did one, and we'll do another one. And this is going to be the front and the back of your keychain. Alright, so you trace two shapes, then you're going to cut them out. Um, I've already done that to save some time. Um, so I have my two pink peep shapes. Uh oh, I lost my marker. Oh. Here it is. Okay. All right. So I have the two shapes. Um, next up, we're going to draw the face. Um, so the peep bunny face is, is just three dots. So it's nice and simple. You can use, um, if you want, you can use a pencil to um, do it before you use the permanent Sharpie, but I'm just going to go for it. Um, let's see. One. So those are the two eyes, and then we're going to have um, the nose in the middle. So you're making like three dots and a triangle for the face. Okay. All right. So there we go. There's my peep face. Um, okay. Next up, we're going to get the keychain ready, the key ring. So uh, you just take your the ribbon that you want to use, and we're going to thread it through this part of the keychain right here. Um, so we'll just go ahead and just push it through there. You're going to fold it in half, just like that. Then what we're going to do is put it in between the bunny ears. So this is my bottom piece. I'm going to put the ribbon right there, and then I'm going to put the top piece on top of it. So basically we're going to have the wrong sides together and the right sides facing out. Okay, so we've got that ready. Now we need to get our um, needle and thread ready. So I've chosen the pink thread for the pink felt with the pink ribbon matching. You can always mix it up if you like, but um, um, so what I did was I threaded it, I threaded all the way through and I tied it at, at a knot um, at, the, at the bottom. So we are going to thread the needle. We're going to use a whip stitch to um, uh, sew the bunny sides together. Um, I'm going to start up at the at the ear right here. So I'm going to thread it from the inside out so the knot stays in the inside of the bunny. So thread it. So first I'm just going to thread or sew through the top layer and you'll see um, the knot gets stuck and just tuck the little end piece in and then we're going to get ready to do our whip stitch. So make sure that the ribbon is in place in between and we're just going to start. So a whip stitch is you just go from the back layer to the front and then you just pull it through like that. So it's going, it's going to be visible so you want to try to make them as even as you can. Um, but it should be matching, so I think it adds a nice little homemade-looking touch to it. Um, so back, back to front, and pull it through. Okay. Ooh. All right, and then when we get to the ribbon. Um, 
we're going to keep with the whip stitch. It's going to, I'm going to put it through the, the needle to get to the back. I mean, put it through the ribbon, the needle through the ribbon to get to the back. And you want to make sure that everything is matched up so that the ribbon, both sides of the ribbon are inside the bunny so it, it holds um, the keychain. Alright, so you're going to do the whip stitch all the way around um, to about approximately the, the bottom of the, of the ear. Then you're going to stuff the bunny with the fiber fill. Um, so I have one prepared where I've sewed most of it. So I did a whip stitch all the way around and then I've stuffed it with the fiber fill. So you just take a little bit at a time and you just stuff it. Um, you want to press the, so you want to fill out, you know, the bottom first and this ear, and then you just make sure it's, it's filled evenly. And then once you have a little bit, um, once you have it filled to your liking, you're going to sew up the rest of the ear. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly, um, with the whip stitch again. Uh, you can use your finger to hold the fiber fill in to, um, in, in the bunny so it doesn't, stick out. So again, just a whip stitch back and back in front and then pulling tight. Um, while you are sewing um, the whole bunny, you'll probably have to re-thread the needle a, a couple times, um, depending on how long you prefer your thread to be as you're sewing. But um, you, you'll probably have to, it'll probably take um, one or two refills. All right, so I'm coming up at the end. If you're having trouble with the whip stitch, there are really great uh, tutorials on YouTube. So you can just look up um, how to do a whip stitch on YouTube and there are some great um, tutorials on how to do that. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna do one more stitch. And what I'm gonna do is, so I've done this stitch like that, I'm going to thread the needle through this loop right here to make a little knot. So here's the, the thread loop, if you could see. Instead of pulling it tight, before I pull it tight, I'm gonna just slip the needle through there and pull it tight. And then I'm gonna cut the thread so I have a long enough tail to make a double knot. So then I'm just going to, just to keep it secure. one and two and then you can snip it really close to the knot like that and there you go you have your peep keychain um so these keychains are nice you have the the key ring and then you also have the little um i forget what it's called but whatever this clip is um so you have a couple different options for um, attaching it to your keys or your purse or your um, backpack, whatever um, you're going to attach it to. Um, all right, so that's how you do the the peep um, keychain. So if you ha if you have any questions, um, you can always email at askref at elmwoodparklibrary.org. Um, you can also um, please take a picture of your finished keychain and send it in to askref at elmwoodparklibrary.org. Um, if you need help with the whip stitch, you can always ask um, through email or you can look up some stuff on YouTube. Um, it's very helpful um, just to see it broken down uh, more clearly um, than I showed today. Um, hope you, I hope you like the craft and our next one, we're going to be making beaded bracelets at the end of um, April, the last Saturday in April. 
Um, all right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.